Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to another Archage Journal. This one will be a Sharpwind Mines walkthrough. Sharpwind Mines is going to be the first dungeon you will run into in this game if you're not a filthy Haranian. And if you're a filthy Haranian villain, then you do something else. I don't know what you do. But I don't care because I'm not a filthy Haranian scumbag. I'm just kidding. It's roleplay. If you're a Haranian player, it's fine. I don't really hate you or anything. Um, <clears throat> Sharpwind Mines is right, yeah, it is just off the road in Dewstone, right uh, near the Sharpwind Plains area. So you run in here, and you run past the stupid ghost, and there's probably going to be some quests and stuff. But uh, I'm just covering the dungeon itself. Now, what I'm doing today is I have a guest with me, and they're going to help me do the mentor quest. I have a quest here. Uh, you, it's This quest is... Uh, you kill the final boss with a low-level player. Uh, so she has, she's going to get the quest, kill a copy with a mentor. And I have the quest, kill a copy with a mentee. And this is true, I think, for every dungeon. Uh, well, at least the first two dungeons. I don't know if it's for Howling Abyss, though. I don't know if you mentor for that, since it's a level, high-level dungeon anyway. Uh... But this Sharpwind Mines dungeon is pretty easy, pretty straightforward, and I'd like I'd like to make a walkthrough for every dungeon. But first, we got to get here. There's the dungeon entrance right over there, that portal. Uh, let me. This is a uh, this player right here, Astro Flight. Uh, she is a brand new player. Be sure to get the quest called Kill Okapi with a mentor. All right, and once you... Oh, that was fast. Okay. So here's the dungeon entrance, and you go in here, and you hit F, and it says creating the dungeon, and then you wait for a loading screen. And it takes, like, I don't know, five seconds. There it goes. And we're off into the dungeon. Uh, Sharpwind Mines is a bandit lair, and I'm not going to wait for all the text to be read, I don't think. Uh because it would take a while to read all this stuff. Um, you basically just walk in, and you jump right on down. Uh, make sure to not accidentally hit that beam. I have hit that beam so many times and busted my butt on it, and it uh, it hurts. I'm going to play a joke on my friend here. Uh, go on in. <laughs> if she dies, I'm going to feel so bad. So this is a trap. Oop, there she goes. She falls down in the pit. I should probably get down here and uh, make ready to kill these things. Uh, let's kill this one, and kill this one over here, and kill this one right here, and kill this one right there. And make sure she doesn't die. Whoo, that was close. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, okay, so once you're down in this pit, you have to come over here to these blocked geysers. Uh, the bandits that rule this lair assumed, I guess, you would die here and leave you, you leave you for dead down in this pit. Well, I guess they don't realize that there's water leaking into this cavern, and if you break these little geysers here, you can escape. Did she get that one? I'll let her do it. Clicky the thingy. That's the thingy. Yeah. Right now. Over now. There she goes. Boop. And so all the geysers pop open, and this cavern will begin to flood with water. And you just float right on up to escape. And you got to do this every time you run the dungeon. Uh, I've done this place a lot of times now. Uh, so while this fills up, let me talk about the quest here. Uh, I'm a high-level player, so I get the mentee quest. And she's a low-level player, so she gets the mentor quest. So uh, this is a system they put in the game to let like high-level players group with low-level players and I guess teach them the game and teach them the dungeons. But also, it's a great way for a high-level player to get Guild of Stars. This is three. It's a daily quest. You can do it every day. Um, 
And if you do this quest and the one for the other dungeon, um, burning Burnt Castle Armory, you get uh, six Gilda Stars, and really this does not take long uh, at all. Um, this has got my house has Lavo here, and I'm just going to blast this guy, and then I'm going to blast this guy with the axe. Or, not this one, an axe. Honestly, that thing looks like it could be, uh, it could be almost anything, I don't know. Boop! Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So these things that I'm picking up, uh, the ones that did that shockwave just now are actually a healing ability, whereas um, these are temporary moves you get by collecting them from the dead guys here. So if I use that, it just shoots that stuff out. Um, it helps if if you're like lower level. Um, it's it's a great source of just like oh here's some uh, here's some extra damage you can do. Uh, but for me as a higher level player, I don't really need it. I wish I had Vitalism right now. I'm actually leveling... I'm level 50 in Battle Rage, Vitalism, and Occultism, but I dropped those and picked up Archery, Defense, and Shadow Play, and I'm leveling these as my second uh, second trinary of moves to do. I eventually want all the skills leveled up to 50 in this game. Boop! Oh, uh, this is a nice combo, by the way, if you're a Stone Arrow. Oh, she pulled. Oh, no, she pulled. Hold on. Let me get these. Okay. Uh, if you're a stone arrow, you get this combo here I'm going to let you have. You can have all the loots. I will pass. Uh, if you're a stone arrow, you can do Olo, uh, You can do this move here. Charged Bolt, which slows the enemy. And once the enemy's been slowed by Charged Bolt, you can throw Olo's Hammer at them, which deals an extra 44% damage on slow targets. So, like this guy right here, I'm going to slow him, and then throw Olo's Hammer at him, and it just, that's a great combo right there. Uh, and another good combo is Stalker's Mark, followed by the Venom Shots, followed by the Blood Shots. I don't know what they're called. Uh, Stalker's Mark. Toxic Shot. Uh, piercing shot, yeah. He knocked me over. Let me just bock him with my hammer. Like, this is apparently a club, but honestly, it looks like there's axe blades on the club. Like, seriously, it's, it's, this, this thing can be whatever it wants to be. It's just a giant, nasty chunk of metal with bits pointing out of it. It's a very orky weapon. Very, uh, so Stalker's Mark, Toxic Shot, uh, I forgot the name again. Piercing Shot. Boop. Pretty good combo. I really like archery, by the way. Uh, archery is great, and uh, I think archery would pair very well with vitalism, so that you can use, uh, you can get your DPS, you can get your DPS out of your bow slot while leaving your uh, melee weapon to be a healing, a healing power stat stick. Yeah, although here's the thing, the DPS on this club, it's not that bad. I'm going to try this move, and let's get all of them off of her. There we go. And they're right below me. So that move is a pretty cool move. It's also an archery. It's called Float. Uh, basically, what it does is it makes your moves more powerful, but it, it really uh, hurts your defense. Um... So I would use it for DPS, but if you're if you're at risk of getting hit, you might want to think twice about using it. So this guy is named uh, the Right Hand of Nerda, and when he dies, it summons the very first boss in this game. So this is the first boss. Her name's Nerda. Uh, she doesn't really do anything. She just kind of jumps around, and you dodge the, the uh, dynamite she drops. Um, as you can see, bosses can't really be comboed. And she also does like this green defensive buff. You can see it's little... I'll show it to you when it comes. She's, there it is, right there. And so that wears off, and once that's worn off, then you can DPS her. But, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks that you can't combo bosses. But as you can see, all she really does is just kind of jump around a lot. This is the most destructive move she uses, and I hope it hits me. Yeah, it hit me. Uh, that can do about half your HP if you're, um... 
If you're of the level to come in here, it'll do about half your HP, so you might want to make sure your healer tops you off after you get hit by the, the blue sword rain move. Um, okay, so grab the yellow gem out of there and use it to open and use it to open the secret door. Lion space. Right now. So she dropped Nerda drops a chest. You open the chest, you get the little yellow gem out of it. Um do I have it? Did I grab it? She grabbed it. Okay. And you open the stone lion's head right here. And then uh you go in here, and there's the map of this place. It's not very big. Uh, one thing I like about Archage Dungeons so far is there's very little... There's not that much trash. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's not very secret. This will be funny. Okay, grab a powder keg. All right, so you grab one of these powder kegs. And I'm going to get my guest here to do it. Adorable little newbie. And this way. This way. <laughs> Can you guys guess what's going to happen? This way. Oh, she's going the wrong way. Come on. This way. There you go. Come on. Oh, this, is, this is. You guys can guess what I'm gonna. What's gonna happen here? Here she comes. Drop it here. So you use the standard uh, trade pack, drop trade pack, drop trade pack button. Uh, it might be, that's in your, if you drag it off your bar, it's in your K menu right here. Okay, it's in basic abilities. Although she's going to lose the, the debuff, isn't she? Yep, it blew up. Ah, didn't do it. Uh, didn't do it fast enough. Well, what I was gonna, uh, what I was gonna have her do was uh, drop the powder keg and get blown up by it. But I guess I'll get blown up. I don't mind getting blown up. Powder keg. Again. It's okay. It's cool. Uh, did, 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 so drop trade pack. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to stand on it. It got her too. It doesn't it doesn't do any actual damage. It's just it's just funny. All right, so you come through here and there's um two ogres. They're nothing special at all. Um honestly, back here at the very start of the area where those um those first enemies were, those are where the toughest uh, fights in this place are. Uh, but the only thing you get here is you get ambushed by some slimes and you fight these ogres. And, yeah. And there's going to be another group of slimes. Uh, just run. Is facing the wrong direction. Let's see, are they on her? Oh, she's not running. Crud. Okay. Nope, no, 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 don't die. Don't die, please. Whew, very close. Uh, if you just run by the slimes and enter the boss room, they break off and go away. So if you're coming, if you're coming through here and you just don't even feel like fighting them, you can just run by them. You just run by them into the boss room, and once you're about right here, they break off. All right, so this is the second boss of the dungeon. He drops rocks from the ceiling just like that, and he will smash the ground. Uh, if you're trying to tank him in melee, he can be really annoying. Um, let me demonstrate how to fight him in melee, in case you're a tank. So you're sitting here, and you're attacking him in melee. So left-hand smash. Oh, damn it, I didn't do it right. Come on. Right-hand smash, you dodge to the right. Le overwhelm, you dodge either direction. So I'm meleeing them. Come on, hit me again. Right hand smash, you get out of the way. You just get out, you basically just have to get out of the way of his uh, ground pounds when he does it. It's not really that hard. The uh, the rocks from the ceiling 
uh, you can't really dodge too well. Those just kind of fall on your head and you got to deal with them. If you're having trouble, I'm pretty sure that if you're a tank, that move right there would keep you from being knocked down. Uh, some loot. She can have it. And then, after we get done with the second boss, next up is another powder keg. So you need to get through the, um, the door here. You just pick up the powder keg. Same thing. <laughs> Let's just... I got an idea. Let's just stick it in the fire. Bug it! <laughs> I'm easily amused. And guess what? There's no more trash. Honestly, I think some of the... One of the toughest fights in here is, um... If you're doing this at low level, right right when you gain access to this dungeon, which, by the way, is level 18, um, the toughest fights are going to be the trash right around here, where my mouse cursor is. Uh, those trash pulls can be kind of annoying. It's the... Um, I think it's the illu the, the illusionist. Uh, the illusionist uh, blood hand. Um, if your group has crowd control when you come in here, be sure to... Uh, crowd control the illusionist and, and kill that one first. So here's the final boss. His name's Copy. He's the leader of this bandit group. And he gets this neat little entrance cinematic, which I'll watch. I usually skip it. Hit escape to skip it if you want to. Oh yeah. I am tough. You dare challenge me? Alright. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so you swim under the water, uh, under the rock there, and then you get into Copy's lair. Did she see the cutscene? Well, if she's running up here, I guess she did. Okay, so this guy is... Um, I'll just DPS him down and explain. Usually, if you're doing this normally, what you're going to want to do is he'll summon two uh, additional monsters to help him. They're not monsters, they're people, but... Uh, you guys know what I mean. Uh, there they are. So what you do is you're doing this uh, as a normal player at level 18. You're going to want to kill these guys, run over, and grab the uh, shield. And the shield buff, I'm going to grab another one. So there it is right there. It actually is a absorption shield, which helps you stand up to his attacks better. Other than that, he summons these whirlwinds that you just, you know, don't walk into them and you'll be fine. And he'll sometimes do the defensive buff on them, which is the green thing here. Uh, other than that... He's not too too rough, I don't think. And he's down already. Okay. So for the mentor quest, we both need to open the blue chest. Uh, there are two locks on the blue chest. And we each open one lock. So I think it's uh I think I go first. Okay, and then she goes, and then I go, and that's it. And that's it. That is the daily mentor mentee quest, and we both get Guild of Star by doing it. And usually the low level gets to keep all the loot, unless the mentor player is being a greedy little piglet. And this a quest I this book is a quest item. Um, did you have the quest to get this book? I'm getting auction sold probably. No, ah. Let's get it later. You did come in here as a fresh 18. Well, guys, that is it for Sharpwind Mines. Uh, next up, I will be trying to do a walkthrough of this dungeon over here, Burnt Castle Armory, right over here. And I don't think I'll do a any Haranian dungeon guides on my channel, because I'm a Nuian player, and I can't really 
do them. I mean, I guess I could level, try to level a Haranian character just to do the walkthroughs, but that's a lot of trouble <laughs> just to make probably two videos. Uh, so you'll have to go to another channel for Haranian walkthroughs. And the exit is right Yeah. So you go on the exit, and there we go. Archage, craft, claim, conquer, and do dungeons. Um, overall, I really like the Sharp One Mines dungeon. It's fast. There's not that much trash. Uh, and I really like the Burnt Castle Armory dungeon uh, coming up. And uh, we'll try and do that next video for you guys. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, as always, take it easy. And special thanks to my friend here, Astral Flight, for uh, tagging along and helping me make a video. All right, later, guys.